Good morning, Nottingham. How are we doing? Look at that blue building. That's pretty cool. Look at all of this stuff going on outside the window. Normally, we don't get lucky enough to get a window in the hotel, but look at this. It's another sunny, sunny day in Nottingham, and it's time to go for breakfast. Room 329. Goodbye. Another sunny day in Nottingham. This is a very confusing road that Tom was driving down last night in the dark. Back to where the hotel was, there was five lanes of traffic. All on one road. I had never seen roads like it. But, hopefully, later today, it might be a little bit sweeter driving in the daylight. And Helen can get some cool clips for you guys. This is the famous Victoria Centre. Welcome back to Dubai, where the weather's hot. <laughs> I'm joking, we're still in Nottingham. But it's, <laughs> I'm using my gloves as an improv improvised sunglasses. This is giving me some serious York vibes. But like if York was in the south of France, it's kind of how it feels. Look at that. Oh, that was a cool picture. That was an accident. That was quite a good picture. Fantastic! I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a massive nerd right now and explain to you something pretty cool. If you're sharing the nerdiness, then you'll enjoy this. But where we are currently stood right now in Nottingham is this big open. There you go, big dome. We're in this big open area with all shops and markets and stuff. But what's important about this place specifically is this is the largest open-aired courtyard space since Leicester Square in London. We found the castle, but more importantly we found the Robin, Robin Hood Museum gift shop. <laughs> Helen wants to go in. To the cobbled streets of Nottingham Castle. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Nottingham Castle. We're about to go and siege the castle. There you go. The Robin Hood Way. The Robin Hood Way, 1985. An 88 mile recreational path route designed by Nottingham Wayfarers Ramblers Club, supported by Nottingham County Council and the County Side Commission. It starts here. 88 miles? Whoa. That's a big walk. Whoa. Got some old fashioned shields here. That's cool. Here we are in Nottingham Castle. Indeed. We've seen quite a lot of castles. We seem to do this. We do seem to end up just at castles. Yeah. So we just nick that golf club car and just get around speedily. Who's this big famous fella? Who are you? This plaque is to commemorate 150th anniversary. Major Jonathan White. <laughs> Robin Hood rifles. He made guns. It's cool. So we're not doing this today, but this shows you what's called the Mortimer Halls, which is a series of cave tunnels underneath Nottingham Castle. Look. Look beneath us right now. Whoa. Goes all the way down to the garden. Whoa. That's cool. Up the stairs. Hollowed out all the bottom of the castle. Travel, wasn't it? Escaping. In the 12th century, the caves were dug to be used for storage and transport to the river. In 1330, there was a big scrap in 1346, this fella showed up. In 1643, this fella showed up. And in 1831, there was a big fire. There's always big fires in history. And then in 1939 and 1946, the caves under the castle were used to help people in World War II. That's pretty cool. Now you've had your history. Pay me me money. Would you? 
Look at that view. How cool is that? So back in the day, that's the blueprint for what it looked like. And that's a historical recreation of what it actually looked like back when it was a working castle. And then obviously this is what all the modern day restorations have been made to it. And that's what it looks like today. History. So you had walls, you had walls going all the way around with a moat, the keep. Helen's awesome panorama shot that she just took. Very good, Helen. Could be on a postcard. Nice, isn't it? It's got the sun in it. How cool is it at uh, this? This is what you should be looking at. If you were looking out of here in the 13th century, this is what you would see. All those fields and hills and trees and the river. And when you look, that's now what we see. Robin Hood and Little John fighting on a bridge. Robin Hood, Little John and Maid Marian. King Richard of Lionheart joining Mar Maid Marian's hands with Robin Hood. Smith of Robin Hood firing his very last arrow on his deathbed. And the myth says wherever it landed is where Robin got buried. Be I was. And we are now travelling to the oldest pub in existence. That's correct. The oldest pub in existence established in 1189 AD. Loves places like this. A little bit of story. As you can see, people back then were a lot shorter. See? That'd have been a very tall king back in the day. Look at this. Step back in history. We're inside of a cave right now. Oh, they do ghost walks. Have you seen the suit of armor? Yeah. Sorry, darling, you going that way? Yeah, you go that way, look. POV in the world's smallest pub. Whoa, there's a room up there, Helen. The Rock Lounge. Sick. Go oh. I think that's just a Yeah. No exit there. It's so cool. Sneak up here. Look at this. Oh. Kitchen. I'm not very long. Sitting here. It'll be a guy. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Find us on Facebook. Nope. In the old writing. Look, that's when they were excavating the pub. That was the old Nottingham Castle. The pub. Whoa. What? Madness. Yeah. <laughs> 
It was believed that the famous poet Lord Byron used to frequent this beautiful oldie worldy pub. <laughs> So now, Nottingham ticked off the list. Goodbye to our awesome hotel. And it's time to go and pick up the Tommobile. So ladies and gentlemen, our time in Nottingham city centre has finished. We've seen everything that we need to, like the castle and the hotel and the town centre. And now we're back into what I prefer which is my favourite part in Nottingham, which is the wilderness. It will be open this time. But uh, yes, Nottingham as a whole, a very good, enjoyed it. Thought it was a really nice spot. Definitely would come back to explore the city centre again. Definitely would recommend going by a train and um, not by a car to the city centre. It's a very technical and confusing roads. But with the wilderness side of stuff, I love the driving and I think if there's any camping opportunities around woods and forests and stuff in the summer, that's what we'll look into. Look at the forest! Ooh. We are officially in Robin Hood country. We've, uh, yesterday we went to the Thieves Wood and today we're going to Sherwood Forest. In a quarter of a mile, oh. turn left onto B6034. Thank right, you. you. are, right, you Thank are. Very lovely. Very nice. We have arrived at our destination. Look at that. That's a banger of a picture. Beautiful. Helen and Tom walking about Sherwood Forest. Absolutely beautiful. We've got a cool item back there, which we'll unbox later. But we've made it back to Sherwood Forest because you can't say goodbye to Nottingham without a trek through the famous Sherwood Forest. I found the oak, Tom. The oak tree. I found the oak. Looks like the one from Alton Towers in that ride. Hex. That's just give loads of people a Vietnam flashback to their childhood. It also gives me flashbacks. Hex. Too. The spider tree from Harry Potter. Oh, the whomping the willow. willow. Oh, God, no. <laughs> that crow was menacing. <laughs> Me and Helen are laughing and joking and having a great old time, but imagine this. This is Tom's ADHD just going crazy for you. Imagine this. Imagine. You get a group of people together who like acting, who like playwriting, script writing, movie making, whatever. Get a bunch of creatives together. You come to a big place like this with a bunch of cameras, a bunch of costumes. You could do army stuff. You could do medieval stuff. You could do cowboys. You could do horror. You could do loads. If you have a setting like this, it'd be sick. You could come and just film so much stuff. Like, I need more creative people in my life to come and just chill out with us because it would be sick. We could make so much cool shit happen. We could come and make so many cool short films on, like, little adverts and trailers and clips and montages and stuff. It would be sick. But when you're on your own... Like, I'm really grateful I've got someone like Helen to chill out with. She just stopped and did, like, a ten-minute um, Viking photo shoot with my new prop that we purchased from the prop shop um, here in the Nottingham Forest. But it's so cool. It's so cool. The potential's insane. But look at this. How sick's that? It's number one in the of UK ancient trees. <gasps> Is it? it? Do you know it was here before Christopher Columbus? Was it? Tell us another fact, Helen. Tell us another fun fact. People of all classes and backgrounds have come to visit it over the past 200 years. Did they? Mints. I don't get it. Oh, the props are needed so that the tree doesn't split apart. Oh, how clever. But it's legends say that behind that wooden cracky door. It's where Robin and his merry men hid. Probably. It's a cool tree though. Nice. Do you reckon they decorated for Christmas? Hopefully. Put fairy lights on it. That'd be quite cute. There's the major oak tree. Click.
So basically, me and my girlfriend, we were walking through Sherwood Forest one day, and what did we find? Oh, a tree with a gift. What is this? It is a sword with runes on it. the most devious bastard in Sherwood Forest. Ah! Huh. I have grown. Her legends have grown. <laughs> Helen, you've grown. grown. She's grown. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I mean, the next thing we have to do is go and actually eat. People in the vlogs quite literally never ever watch us eat. So you probably think that's a very sporty mini. But you probably you probably also you probably also think what are these two mad bastards doing? Not having anything to nibble. But we very honestly need to Edwin Stow. Edwin Stow. We very need to go and get some food before we both pass out because we've just walked an absolute age. So now we're going back to our car to rescue the Tom and Helen Mobile or as it's more commonly known the Telen Mobile we've watched two sunsets in Nottingham and one sunrise and I think that's enough for this adventure but Sherwood Forest and Nottingham as a whole you have been tremendous we've ticked off so much stuff we've got a few more bits and pieces to come back to all in all, fantabby dozy. Look at the moon. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. It's been an absolute treat. Me and Helen have enjoyed exploring Nottingham on our first ever outing. It was a really good time. A great area. Gorgeous drives. Really scenic once you get out that main city centre. And if you do go to the city centre, I'd recommend going via train. Unless you're staying in a hotel, then obviously go via car um, where there's available parking like we had. But in the future, when we do revisit to do the adventuring in the woods more, I think I'll obviously use the Mini and come back in the car because that was a great way of transporting our filming equipment and just also any bits and pieces we wanted to take down with us and also bring back. There's a whole separate video talking about Barney at the Barn Dog, which is a Lego shop down there. That's going to be uploaded to the main channel, Tom Origins, and that'll be uploaded very, very soon. But Nottingham as a whole was a perfect finale for Helen's 23rd birthday week. We celebrated every single day from Monday to Sunday. We had an absolute blast, and I've just dropped her off home, and I'm finishing up this video. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more, and we'll see you over on the main channel. See you in a bit. Peace. Switch up all the rules And imagine a utopia So